Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are well and staying home, staying safe. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over this Android rear view mirror. It's a 12 inch unit and the screen size is 12 inch and you also get the front camera as well as a back camera. So let's go on and review this. So here on the back of the unit, you have your camera and it's on a slider. It's actually slide in and out to fit. Also your camera swivel around so you can turn it to the angle that you want. So here in the middle is your vent. And then right up at the top, you have your reset button. Further to the left, you have your speaker and the speaker is for your Bluetooth music. To the right is your GPS antenna. Moving on to your micro SD card slot. And then your SIM card tray is uh, right behind that. And next to that is your backup reverse camera input. And then you have your USB power adapter port or a USB port for your computer. So you can update data or upload videos and uh, music to your SD card. And if you flip this around, on the bottom of the unit, you have your power buttons. If you hit it once, it will turn the screen down to screen saver and it shows you the time. If you hit it twice, it will turn off the screen. And then if you press and hold, it will pops up a menu for you to turn off or to restart the unit. This is the main menu of the system. We're gonna start off with navigations. The default for navigation is gonna be Google Maps, but you do need data in order for Google Maps to run. Otherwise, it's not going to work, but you also have an option to uh, go into the Google Play Store and download some offline maps, uh, which would work, and you only need GPS connection for it to work. You don't need any data, which is a good thing, and to do that, all you have to do is press and hold the navigation button, and a menu will pop up for you to choose which app you want to run it off. Up next is your DVR, which records the front and the rear camera both at the same times. And if in case you get into an accident, you have proof of what happened and you can talk to your insurance agents. And within your DVR menu, there's an important safety feature, which is the ADAS, Advanced Driving Alarm System. So the ADAS system has a lane keep assist feature to where it will detect if you're drifting too much to the left or drifting to the right it will let you know and then it also monitor the vehicle in front of you and if you're stuck in traffic or at the red light and the car in front of you is moving it will let you know hey the car has moved and then to the very left you have your lock icon which you can lock the files if, uh, if you get into an accident or if someone hit and run and you want to lock the files you can hit that and it will lock it or if you want to take a quick picture, you can hit the camera button and it will take a quick snapshot of the front and the rear. And then you have your video on and off button to where you can control if you want to turn it on manually or not. And then of course you have your music apps to where you can play music from online or you can play it from your SD, uh, micro, uh, SD card slot. And then of course next to that is your Bluetooth to where you can make and receive phone calls you can download your contact list and you can also stream music from your phone using Bluetooth. But a useful feature is if you want to turn your mirror into a hotspot, you can put in a SIM card, a 3G or a 4G SIM card, and turn this into a Wi Fi hotspot for your Wi Fi uh, tablet or laptop. And this is your FM transmitter. It will transmit any sounds from your mirror down to your stereo system. Of course, here's your video's uh, player. You can go in here and play all of the recorded footage of the DVR system. Or if you have video files on your SD card, you can uh, play it in here as well. So how much is the system? The system is not that expensive. It might look expensive, but it's not. It's $120 for my setup without a bells and whistle. But if you choose a lesser version, which is uh, $69.90, uh, which takes away the Bluetooth, the GPS, and the ADAS system, but you still have your main rear view cameras and your front VVR system as well. So it, it's a pretty good price for the system. 
So the build quality is solid. I've had it for over a year now and everything has been working just as it should be. I don't have any problems with it. Video qualities are great. The front and the rear are great. Um, they perform pretty well at night and you can still see a lot of uh, details at nighttime. So if you guys are in the market for a rear view of a mirror that would work and has feature that you can use, go ahead and check out my description below. I'll give you some links down there. So now let's go install it. I'll show you guys how plug and play it is and how easy it is to install. So let's go. That's the rear camera. That's the one over here on the right. And that's how I install it up there. Drill a hole to go through. That's where you open up and get your wire through. So on the inside, I actually ran the wire in from here and just kind of tucked them right along the sides here and ran it all the way up to the front area here. And as you can see, it ran down there and that's where the wire is coming out from. So this is the rear view mirror for the transit. That's why I'm gonna clip on the aftermarket. And this is the panels that you need to take off in order to run all of your wires in here. You guys have to do that. With this panel, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is uh, press in to uh, unsnap all of the plastic clips. And then you just take the panel off. There you go. Here's a close up of the where I mounted the GPS antenna. Just right on that camera hole if you have your lane departure. Uh, factory lane departure options. That's where the camera goes. So I'm using the original adapter to plug in my power, which I still have the little power adapter here. This is uh, what will transform the 12 volts down to 5 volts. If you can see there, 5 volt DC. That's where I ran my power, but uh, this is just a regular cigarette lighter. And what you can do is you can just uh, hook this straight up into your cigarette lighter plug. Ground will actually connect to the two size pieces here and I just kind of wrapped it around and hot glue it. And then for the top it's actually compressed inside the spring here so it's not going anywhere. Same thing with the sides. And then the wire just goes straight up and plug into the plug up here. And as you can see there are three wires coming out from the plug. One is a black with a blue stripe. One is an uh, orange brownish color with a yellow stripe. And one is just a straight off solid yellow. And the yellow is where I connected the power wire to. And the ground goes into the black with the blue stripe. And that's where I got the power from for the mirror. Alright, so all the wires are connected and taped up and tidy up together. I'm going to go ahead and put all the covers back on so that way I can plug in my, I can clip on the mirror and finish the installation here. And this size piece, you can see the little clips over here. That's where they go into one clip up here and one clip on the bottom. And they just slide in and lock in. So that's all you have to do is slide them in and they will lock in. Alright, there you go. Just easy as that. And then all you have to do is push the wire in and tuck them in place behind there. There's actually a gap right here that you can slit the wire through and it will not harm the wire, it will not cut or pinch it. You can uh, slit it underneath there and it will come out. There's a bigger space right on the bottom here if you want to use the bottom. 
you can uh, get the wires all the way down here and then just uh, come out from the bottom up. So here I have my wires coming up from the bottom and out. And then I tucked in all the cables here, tied them up so that way they are organized. This one will actually just uh, clips onto that using all of this clips here and it will hold on to it tight and then of course there's these two that clips in as well there's a hole right here and one right here for all the clips to clip in so this one goes here right there and then this one up here goes up in this corner and they just slide in and then they clips on using this uh, clips right over here on the edge and all you have to do is uh, line them up. So you just line them up in place. And then clips them in. Like that. And done. There you go. Clips in. And the wires are coming out neat neatly and tightly same thing with the bottom they just clips on and there you go there's the finished product does that look like a factory install to you guys well no not really it still looks at the market but you know that's the best i could do and then of course you have your mirror here and all you have to do is undo this, undo the rubber grommets, make sure you clean the lens first before you mount it so that way you don't have to reach back there after you're done. And there you go, the lens is clean and then make sure you extract this all the way out. So it doesn't uh, break your mirror when you try to clip on the mirror. You have two adjustable options here. One is up at the top and one is right here. So you can uh, hook it in like this. Or you can hook it in like this. And this will shorten it up a little bit. And then you just pull it down and have it clips on. All you have to do is finish up the other side and you would have it installed. Alright, so here it is. There's the clips and it just clips on over to the top. All the way down to the back. Same thing on that side. This side, focus, and then of course, like I told you guys, I always move this out so that way it doesn't break when you uh, the lens when you try to install it and clip it on. And then for the wirings, all you have to do is tilt the mirror back. There it is, install. So I hope that helps some of you guys on your buying decisions now that you know the specs and all the features and how easy it is to uh, install this plug and play. If you like the videos, go ahead and smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to share the video so that other people can see it and get the benefit from it as well. Well then that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye now.